My name is Dave Proctor. I'm a professor of kinesiology and physiology. My, my lab has had a long-standing interest in understanding how the aging process affects the delivery of blood and oxygen to our limb muscles uh, when we exercise. What we've discovered is that the aging process affects blood flow to skeletal muscles very differently in women compared to what we see in men. And so we're trying to understand the, the mechanisms of those differences and the consequences of those differences. And ultimately then we can hope to develop targeted interventions for um, improving this process in our rapidly elderly, expanding older population. We do studies um, looking at blood vessel function in humans uh, during exercise. Uh, different modalities we use include leg cycling, uh, knee kick exercise, hand grip exercise. These are very controlled forms of exercise that allow us to assess the reactivity and the blood vessel dilation that occurs with different stresses such as exercise. We also have some techniques for estimating how much oxygen is getting to the working skeletal muscle fibers. Older women in particular are at heightened risk for developing hypertension, high blood pressure as they age, and they are actually at greatest risk for dying from cardiovascular and heart disease. And so we're hoping that by understanding how blood vessels change with advancing age and how exercise and other interventions might be able to improve the function of the blood vessels, that we might be able to reduce their uh, risk. And walking, jogging, and other daily tasks requires uh, a sustained and rapid increase in blood flow to our skeletal muscles. And so understanding how that process affects blood flow to aging individuals may uh, enhance our ability to develop targeted, maybe sex-specific interventions for the aging process and help to increase the functional capacity and increase the quality of our, our life.